Pull on. Milo Lele. Good first night. Kona Maori. Pakata Lofa Atu. Kia ora. And good day, mate. <laughs> we are the UQ South Pacific Islander Association, and we'd like to welcome you all to our first ever culture night. A showcase of Pacific Islander culture through song and through dance. We acknowledge the traditional owners of this land in which we are meeting. We pay respect to the elders, past and present, and elders from other communities who may be here today. But before we take off and embark on this Pacifica journey aboard Air Spear, I would like to introduce UQ Spear's pastoral care coordinator, Roisin Welsh, to first lead us through prayer. Kia ora everyone. Okay, before we start this awesome night, can I ask everyone to just bow their heads? We're going to just have a moment of prayer. Father God, we thank you for such a great opportunity to um, just explore culture and diversity. Father, just to really honour you. Lord, we invite your presence here with us tonight. Let it be just a sweet aroma. Father, I, I ask God you'll empower every dancer, every performer tonight, God, may they experience the joy that you have for them. And I pray that everyone present, God, that there would be just such an atmosphere of, uh, of joy and excitement in this place, God. We just thank you, Lord, and we're excited for an awesome night ahead. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on board Airspear, flight number 010815 to the islands of the South Pacific. Our aircraft is under the command of Captain Ippy. My name is Sai, and I am your chief flight attendant. Good evening, everyone. This is your captain speaking. Our flying time to New Zealand will be approximately three hours, and we will be flying at an altitude of 20,000 feet at a ground speed of 400 kilometers per hour. We hope you enjoy your flight. While we aim to make your flight as enjoyable as possible, your safety is our priority. Please listen carefully to the following announcement. You are on board a 777. There are two emergency exits, one door on the left and one door on the right, each marked with an overhead exit sign. Each door is equipped with a raft, which may be detached in the event of a water evacuation. This aircraft is also equipped with aisle path lighting, which is located on the floor in the left and right aisles. Should cabin visibility be impaired, the exit path will be illuminated. Thank you for your attention. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask any one of our crew members. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff, please. Cabin crew, please be seated for takeoff. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. We are now crossing a zone of turbulence. Please return to your seats and keep your seatbelts fastened. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, as we start our descent, please switch off all electronic devices until we are safely parked at the gates. Thank you. Thank you. Flight attendants, prepare for landing, please. Cabin crew, please be seated for landing. Kia ora. Welcome to Wellington International Airport. The local time now is 6.30 p.m. and the temperature is at a cold 4 degrees. Welcoming you tonight will be the UQ Spear Boys performing the New Zealand Haka.
Ladies and gentlemen, as we start our descent, please switch off all electronic devices until we are safely parked at the gates. Thank you. Flight attendants, prepare for landing, please. Cabin crew, please be seated for landing. Islands and magnificent beaches. It's situated southeast of Australia. The Kanaki is a form of local music, inspired by reggae and originating in the 1980s, and is usually played to dance to because of its upbeat rhythm. Please allow the dancers to take you on a journey through the islands of New Caledonia.
Welcoming us into Papua New Guinea will be some of our new GSB performers who will perform two songs, We Like Um and Mary Lewa. <laughs> the first song is about the struggles of being away from your island home and all that you miss. The second is a popular song of the artist, Ocean.
Next slide, Dear Boss. Maori, a group of my Ndusi Mai from Kami, Abara Kiribas. Kiribas welcomes you. We introduce the Queensland Kiribas community youth who will be dancing for you two dances tonight from the islands of Kiribas.
Falkland Islands, there are nine provinces which have unique customs and dances. Tonight, Indies Beer will be performing a dance from the province of Isabel called the Salio. This is a celebratory dance and has been performed in celebration of success or any happy occasion throughout the generations. <laughs> Entertainment brought to you by Congregational Christian Church of Samoa, South West Brisbane Youth. They will be performing two dances originated from the country of Samoa. The first dance, Sina, which is derived from the legend Sina and the Eel. The second dance is a dance which celebrates culture and represents Samoan pride.
Vanuatu. Situated east of Australia and northeast of New Caledonia, the Republic of Vanuatu is one of five Melanesian countries in the South Pacific. The first thing you hear when you land is the welcoming tunes of Vanuatu's own live stream band music. With this, please welcome on stage the new Vanuatu dancers dancing to the string band song Island Dress, written about the colourful and diverse dresses of the island. which is a climate change organisation. Uh, tonight I am a little bit nervous to share with you guys. Um, I have been struggling with some asthma, so please excuse me if I start coughing in the middle of my speech. Um, yeah. <laughs> so tonight I stand in front of you because I am super passionate about Indigenous culture, about the South Pacific, about injustice, and I'm sharing tonight because I believe that we as a people need to hold corporations accountable for their actions or inaction. I stand here because I believe Desmond Tutu was right when he said, if you are neutral in situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. As many of you are aware, the South Pacific is at the forefront of climate change. Climate change is a harsh reality for those living in Micronesia, Melanesia, and Polynesia. 
Every day, diverse cultures from across the South Pacific Islands are dealing with environmental issues impending on the quality of their life. In fact, many of you guys know what I'm talking about because you're from these islands and you've seen the struggles, you've seen the impacts. Some of you may know just through word of mouth, but the statistics say that 4 in 10 people don't actually know that climate change exists. Tonight I am proudly wearing my New Wave fourfold to re represent my love for New Wave. I have been travelling to New Wave and I am so connected to this island through my partner. I am proudly wearing my Samoan Platasi to represent the love. Sorry. To represent the love that I have for my grandmother and my aunt. I'm a little bit passionate about the subject. I wear the Nui and Hihi shells unique to the island collected by my friend Fel. She collects these seashells that are unique to Nui and she proudly displays them in these beautiful designs. I stand here so proud of culture. It is intrinsic with my identity as a person. I speak with such love because I have I love, because I love our people. We have a love for family, for culture, for, for tradition. We have so much connection to our land, our history. And now the future of the South Pacific is threatened by climate change in a very real way. I do this for my friends, Tuani and Kiribati, Fenton and George and Fiji, Ariane and Papua New Guinea. I do this for Milan and Marshall Islands. I do this for Sylvester in Tonga. I do this for Mika in Tokelau. Did you know that there are actually major smear campaigns in action trying to debunk climate change science? Over the years, dozens of climate researchers have been systematically targeted by well-funded anti-science campaigns. The idea of addressing climate change threatens people in the fossil fuel industry. The, po the problem is the fossil fuel industry places more value on profit than on the quality of life and the future of these islands. Last year, the organization that I work with, 350 Pacific, led a huge campaign and protested by blockading the coal port in Newcastle in Australia. <laughs> They handcrafted these beautiful traditional outriggers and fundraised to transport them to Newcastle. Then they peacefully protested and made international headlines about climate change and how the fossil fuel industry is affecting them on a very, very real basis. It's affecting their livelihood, it's affecting their food, their water, water sanitization, it's affecting a lot of things. In fact, there are going to be refugees because of climate change. And this is how I first heard of 350 Pacific. 350 Pacific is part of a global movement called 350. 350 represents the safe level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. There should be 350 parts per million. Currently we are sitting at 400 and going up by two every year. This is because there is so much profit in the fossil fuel industry. What we're trying to do in Brisbane is establish a very strong team, 350 Pacific Brisbane, to rally and support climate change movement. Sorry if I'm rambling guys, but lastly I just want to say, we have so many things happening. We've got a major um, rally in November in the lead up of the UN Summit Climate Change and we'd like to have the South Pacific represented. So if you are a group, if you have, you're a youth leader at church or if you have someone, um, people that would be interested to really help get behind this campaign, please check out our Facebook, 350 Pacific Brisbane. Thank you.
Please help me to refuel. Please sit back and enjoy this joyous and entertaining performance by the coming through of the SP. It's a beautiful island of energy. Relax and enjoy the big hit of the market. 